What's up, weirdos? Um, me thinks that there's a war going on between, hmm, millennials and Gen Z. I can't even do it for a second. Oh my God, that was painful. I don't know how you millennials do that. That's right, as I'm sure you're aware, now that Gen Z has gotten older and is the main, like, creator of all of the pop culture, the older generation, which is now the millennials, has gotten very upset with that. And here's the thing. When millennials were the younger generation, they did get a lot of hate, but it was mostly off of news articles and a couple of Facebook posts. Really, the ending of the millennial hate was kind of coinciding with the rise of social media. So there was just a little bit of overlap. But with the way that social media is now, the voices of the aging millennial crowd has gotten so much louder and so much more directed down at the younger generation of Gen Z. And here's the thing, I'm gonna talk about this as unbiasedly as I can. I know I am Gen Z, but the people who are Gen Z who are engaging in this conversation in like a real way, I also find very embarrassing to watch. Cause when the millennials were the younger generation, these were the kind of posts that were pissing them off. Like this one from Buzzfeed in 2011, God. Boomer financial advice, stop buying avocado toast. That's the vibe. Or posts like this. By 2012, McDonald's had a millennial problem with the Big Mac brand. 80% of those avocado toast eaters had never once ordered the number one big boy. Solution, like, you know what I mean? The vibe back then basically was that avocado toast is very expensive and millennials are dumb with their money, so they buy it because they're dumb. And also they're lazy, unlike my generation, Gen X. That's what it was. Gen X was posting things that were really like rude to millennials because they're younger and they're dumber. And millennials said, when we're the older generation, we're never gonna do this. I swear to God, we're never gonna become the- And then it became the early to mid 2020s. And now millennials are saying embarrassing ass stuff like this. And one of the things that's aging the Gen Zers, and I don't know if anybody told them this, and I think maybe this is something that they adopted from like the car Jenners, but y'all don't be smiling. You guys like let yourselves look sleepy. There's that one, which by the way, crazy millennial social media voice. You guys like let yourselves look sleepy. The point of her video being that Gen Zers are aging more rapidly than millennials because millennials are so much younger looking, so much prettier looking, and so much more cooler looking than the Gen Z. But the truth is they're just getting older and trying to find something to hang on to, which is fine. But this next video that I'm gonna show you really blew up. And let me tell you something, cause it's a war and there's, you know, some bad people on both sides. I don't like the way that sentence is sounding, but I'm gonna start with the original video of this guy talking. I'm gonna say this a little bit louder for the Gen Zers in the back that didn't hear me the last time. Millennials look fantastic for our age and you cannot tell us otherwise. And the reason why you think we don't look great for our age is because we have set the new standard of what it looks like to age. Okay, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, oh my God, the tone he's taking in this video, dude, you are your parents right now. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I'm gonna send something right to the Gen Zers. Millennials look fantastic for our age. What the fuck are you doing right now? Don't you have a full-time job? Why are you doing this embarrassing generation war thing on TikTok? This is so like, oh my God, like my humiliation levels are, oh. We have set the new standard. And the way he's talking, like it's something that actually matters. Like he's so, proud of this. By the way, can I just say, you are not a monolith. We're not a monolith. And neither is Gen Z. No generation is actually aging better than other people. Like, what are you talking about? It's just a funny thing that people are talking about, but you're actually acting like it's real. And he brings up examples in a second and I'm gonna have my refutation, but oh my God, it's just embarrassing. Listen to how he talks again. I'm gonna say this a little bit louder for the- Oh my God. I'm not mad at him at all. I'm just so secondhand embarrassed. And I know his millennial ass is saying, actually it's called Frem Shaman. Yeah, cause he found that out on Reddit. You fucking millennial. Wait, is that right? Hey, that's right. Hey, I knew stuff. Oh, anyways, let's hear Hear him say it again. God, it's so embarrassing to watch something like this. Gen Zers in the back that didn't hear me the last time. Millennials look fantastic for our age because we have set the new standard of what it looks like to age. Ah! Okay, go ahead, bring out your examples, bring them out. I'm 37 years old and I'm about to be 38 this year. I'm about to give you some examples of what it looked like to be my age back when I was young. Okay, here's the thing. You look like you were 38 years old. That's fine, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being 37, 38 years old. By the way, 37, 38, bro, you are too fucking old to be making this video. Oh my God. If I am 37 years old in my bed, posted up like this, genuinely saying, I look fantastic for my age. <laughs> Seven looks better not fucking matter, man. Jeez. Al Bundy is 39 years old. George Costanda, 31 years old. Okay, by the way, it's Costanza, not Costanda, you dumbass. But that's me. But that's me. Also, I'll let you finish, but you are using examples that are classically younger than they look. Like they look really old for their, like these are things that you would find on Buzzfeed lists. You fucking millennial, oh my God. By the way, if you're a millennial, you are totally fine because you are not the person who made this video. If you are making this video, oh my God, please just, there's time, just don't do it again. But I have actually nothing wrong with millennials at all. You guys are completely fine. Like who gives a fuck? Oh. I'm not cringing because he's millennial. I'm cringing because he's him. But first, I desperately want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. 
Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. And every month you get to pick so there's never any surprises. They've got perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. And with each individual fragrance, you're getting a 30 day supply. That way you can try out different fragrances without having to commit to a whole new like $150 bottle. Honestly, some of the things that were with Scentbird can cost up to like $300 to $500 for the bottle of the brand, you know? Some of those brands being like Prada, Gucci, Versace. They've also got a lot of indie labels. And I wanna show you the three that I got this month. Like this one, which is my new favorite, it's called Sir Icon Ice. By the way, yeah, with each fragrance, they ship a little bit of information with like the ingredients, a description, you know, the different scents that are in it. By the way, the, just the designs of these is so cool, but listen to this. That is the sound of a high quality fragrance being sprayed all over my body, so I smell amazing. It's definitely my favorite. If you wanna know what I smell like right now, that's the one. Also, this one came in, it's Burberry for men. This is the picture of the Burberry bottle. That one's like fresh and peachy. I really like that one. And lastly, Quintessence by Avant. Ooh! Oh my God, this one's so sophisticated. Nice. This one's so nice. This is like classy, nice. Oh, this is really good. Okay, actually, you know what? Scratch it. This one, Quintessence. That's the one that I smell like right now. <laughs> I love Scentbird, and truly, it's a really great place to begin your relationship with fragrance or to deepen it and explore it. It helps you with these 30-day supplies, experiment and try different ways of expressing yourself through your personal scent. Yeah, I said that, and I mean it. And to try it out, use my coupon code COOPER for 55% off at Scentbird. With that, it's just a little over $7 for your first month. That's such a good deal, seriously. And it's available in the USA and Canada. Look at this entire cast of Cheers right now. Look at them. Literally, I'm older than every single one of these people in this photo. Okay, man, but at the end of the day, you and I are both gonna be dead and buried in a cold, dark grave, so why do I give a fuck that you look younger than the Cheers cast? Like, these are all examples that I guarantee are posted on Reddit being like, uh, did you know that Woody Harrelson was only 21 in Cheers? And then in the comments, oh, thanks for the gold, kind stranger. Me thinks, shut the fuck up, by the way. If you have ever said thanks for the gold, kind stranger in a Reddit comment, I need you to get down on your hands and knees right now and literally beg God for mercy. All will be forgiven, you just have to do that. I'm a full decade older than Kelsey Grammer. If I rolled up to your house and I was like, oh, I brought my grandpa. He's 35, I'm 37, I'm literally older than him. These two are both supposed to be 45 in Father of the Bride. Like there is a world in which all of us, all three of us went to the same elementary school. Do you think that matters when you're 37 years old? I mean, really? Why do you care? Why are you putting so much of your own identity in how you look? I'm gonna quote Jemima Kirk right now. I think you guys might be thinking about yourselves too much. If you are in your late 30s on TikTok right now, trying to own Gen Zers by how much younger you look than the Cheers cast? May God have mercy on your soul. It's just embarrassing. You are literally telling us that you are far too old to be doing this while you're doing it. But let's let him finish. Maybe he digs himself out of this embarrassing pit. And of course, Homer Simpson is exactly the same age as me. Wow, that's so fucking interesting. My God. Because the difference between us and you is so much closer than the difference between us and them. And like, we've set like a new standard of aging. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. That's so cool, yeah. Just round of applause, awesome. You've shown me the famously old elderly since the womb, Steve Martin, George Costanza, and Homer Simpson. Yeah, you know what, with those examples, I've gotta admit, you have totally set the new standard for aging, and that's something that you should stake a lot of your personal identity. That's not unhealthy at all. We have set the new standard. We've set like a new standard of aging. Homer Simpson. Jesus Christ, dude. By the way, can I just say something? Tom Felton, that's right. Tom Felton. Again, real quick for those in the back, Tom Felton, that's a millennial. Yeah, you guys have definitely set a new standard for aging. Kaylee Cuoco, no hate to the people I'm showing right now, by the way. I'm just saying that these are people who famously are millennials and also have the same reaction as, you know, the George Costanza image. Homer Simpson. What if I reminded you that this man is also a millennial and he's still doing it at 39, that's my goat. <laughs> We are done with the 90s. Anyways, we also have famously bad boyfriend and Socrates, Jonah Hill, another millennial, who, speaking of, Seth Rogen. You know, great producer, got some amazing stuff going on. Can I say that I would mistake him for being in his mid-20s? No. And lastly, Tom Hiddleston. You know what? Now that I'm looking at those Loki beautiful eyes, I don't care how receded his hairline is. He could be 22. He could be in the hype house. Point being, if you're gonna pick and choose other generations who are apparently older looking than you are, I can pick people from your generation who are older looking, like, you know what I mean? Also, the people he was using from the other eras to showcase how old they looked back then, uh, this girl is 37 when she played Moaning Myrtle. 37! So, huh, not every 30 year old looked like George Costanza back then? That doesn't make any sense. Also, Ralph Macchio, yeah, not 16 here, by the way, 
30. Also, duh, uh, Monique Coleman. Ignore the Karen hair. How old do you think she is here? You probably wouldn't guess 31. So here's the thing. People age. Millennials aren't aging better than Gen Z. So the point being, again, if you're gonna pick and choose for your point, then you also have to pick and choose for the opposite point and see that, oh, it's just because you picked and chose. And you might say, you're so mad, you're so triggered right now. But the thing is, I'm just so humiliated that this is even a thing that 38 year old people are talking about right now. Like this is the discourse that they're doing. They're not doing avocado toast lazy. They're doing, we're so much prettier and younger. You're so old and ugly. And it's just humiliating to even talk about it. To entertain this as a realistic conversation is so embarrassing. But in the interest of fairness for all my millennials out there, this is the response that Gen Z had, which I would say is utterly and fundamentally an embarrassing thing to have posted and they should be embarrassed and humiliated to have posted it. He's screen recording it because the original deleted it. So ignore his millennial ass pop-ins, but let's just go with it. It's a little bit louder for the Gen Zers in the back that didn't hear me the last time. Millennials look fantastic. For we don't need to see you the second time, by the way, bro. You are already fully in the video. We don't need to see you still sitting there watching it like, y'all seeing this? Shh, please stop. This is embarrassing. Okay, keep going. But this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, why are you point- I'm sorry, he's so- Oh my god, it's so just like embarrassing. The point that he's making, I'm not mad about it at all. He's just wrong. Like, that doesn't trigger me. That doesn't get me upset. My response in this whole video is just- It's utterly embarrassing to watch this guy. Like, ah, oh, whatever. Keep going, keep going. He's just pointing out and popping in. But anyways, okay. The point of watching this one is that the girl who's responding is the embarrassing one. What kind of denial-filled, middle-aged, crisis-ass bullshit is this? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, wow, middle-aged crisis, uh, hello? By the way, this is a middle-aged crisis, so, so far, I am on her side, but I think that what she says next is a little bit, you know, you can call it embarrassing, but what she did is, like, uh, you know, two sides of the same coin. Let's go. What twink on Grinder asked you for your ARRP card? <laughs> Come on, let me know. <laughs> Pour one out, y'all. Pour one out for every millennial going through a crisis. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you sit with this one, bro. You look 30. By the way, you look 30. Please stop, please stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God, you don't need to like come in here and do all this. Oh my God, it's so sorry. She's being really rude and fully just meeting him at his level of being like, my point and what differentiates me, what I'm saying is, yeah, people can have nice skin when they're in their late thirties, but going and making it your identity on TikTok and posting about George Costanza, it's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna make fun of his appearance though. Like he's obviously a well manicured man with his skin and everything. Manicured's not the word. He looks damn good for his age. Okay, I can say that. You look great for your age. Until, again, you open your mouth and start saying embarrassing ass things online. Then you don't look good at all. You look a little cringe. But let's keep going because uh, seriously, I gotta give this guy a fair shake because the response to his video is so annoying. And I know a part of you is saying, I agree with her. But come on, you gotta be on the side of reason here. There's no reason to go posting about T W I N K. S on grinder. I had to spell it out because although I think it is a funny sounding word, people might get mad at me if I say it. You know what I mean? Anyways, I think that saying that is a little bit rude. That's my point. I'm tripping out right now and I'm not trying to be shady. I swear to God, I'm not trying to be shady. But when that video first started, I thought it was a fellow millennial sympathizing with what I was talking about. But when I looked on this person's profile, homegirl is 20 years old. Okay, oh my God. Maybe I misremembered how bad her video was because hers was not really, I mean, it was not nice. That is rude and it's insulting to, you know, insult somebody's looks. But if this battle is, you know, like a war of shame. Oh my God, this is Thermo Pile and her 300 Spartans might have died of shame, but he's got a bunch of dead shameful Persians. History reference. And this is like one of the first times I actually felt what other millennials were talking about, about Gen Z looking a little bit older for her age. And homegirl was like loud about her opinions. It was trying to like laugh at my expense. Don't want to be mean to her. Oh my God, yes you do. What the fuck are you talking about? That's exactly what you're doing in this video. Oh my God, yes. She should be ashamed of making that video and being very rude and just like insulting the stranger about their appearance, yes. I understand where she's coming from. I think she could have approached it more on a this is humiliating perspective, not a you look ugly perspective. You know what I mean? Even though she didn't do that that much, but you know, still her video was like, come on, you don't need to say stuff like that to strangers online. His video was not directed at anybody other than <clears throat> Jason Alexander, AKA <clears throat> George Costanza, Homer Simpson. But I don't think that his video warranted that type of response from her. Listen, I'm being overly generous to him right now because everything else I'm saying is just, dude, I'm not trying to be mean to her right now, but she does look extremely old and she's only 20 and is ugly. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't act like you're taking the high road while saying bullshit like that. Like, I mean, I get it, be shady, give your response. I got no problem with that. Trust me, I'm making a video, I got no problem with that. But it 
a certain point, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yeah, I'm kind of being the bad boy of TikTok right now. You can be a bad boy. Listen, well, really, you're 38 years old. Really, you're a bad man. You're the bad man of TikTok. <laughs> what you are doing in this video is so bad man behavior. Let's give him a chance. What does he say after I'm not trying to be mean? After saying a lot of mean things. Don't want to be mean to her. Baby, baby girl. <laughs> baby girl. Oh, Jesus. Like, you're pretty. You're beautiful. I'm not trying to, like tear you down or anything because looking older than your age isn't a bad thing and shouldn't be stigmatized by society. But when you're like laughing at my expense about the way I look, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> sorry. Oh God, baby girl, oh my God. Don't want to be mean to her. Don't want to be mean to her and then you do the most condescending little bullshit rant I've ever heard in my entire life. That was so condescending. You literally sound like your mother right now. Everything that you have ever complained about the way that your mother talks down to you to her friends, that is the way that you just talk to the stranger online. Oh my God, I know that she said some rude things about you, but that was insane, especially right after prefacing it with, don't want to be mean to her. This laugh? <laughs> Listen, again, don't want to be mean to her. Hey, but the way you look... <laughs> oh my god! The way you look? Oh my god! You're so fucking ugly! Oh my god, you're so ugly! Oh, oh, oh you ugly bitch! Again, don't want to be mean or anything. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just so on like a high right now because of how embarrassed I am. I feel like I've left my body and I'm on LSD or something. This guy is so embarrassing. Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even tell you what a feeling this is because I brought this clip up to defend him and talk about how Gen Z is like also responding in an embarrassing way. But I don't think that I saw his response at the end because, oh my God. It's so funny that you're trying to read me for looking 30 and saying you look 30. Yes, wonderful. I'm almost 40. <laughs> you're not getting it. You are not getting it. Anyway, all love. You're having fun. This is me also having fun. That's you having fun? Oh my God. Do you think that what you did was equivalent at all? Oh my God. First of all, you brought Costanza into it. That was your first mistake. Then you made me think of Jemima Kerr. And now you're doing what is in my opinion, the most evil spirited reaction video I've ever seen in my entire life to somebody who, again, by the way, they shouldn't have said that. That was a rude thing to say. That was very rude to say. And I think we can all agree that 300 Spartans died of shame because of her. But oh my God, the Persian shame is overwhelming. <laughs> Homer Simpson. Point being, you can't be this person at 38 years old. You just can't. I am so sorry. Listen, I have been a very, very embarrassing person. Trust me, I know. Don't even, oh, I know. And I carry that shame with me on a daily basis. But in Jesus' name, I did it when I was 21. Not 21 plus 17 more years of adult life. At 38, if you're doing this online, Jesus Christ. Christ, listen to Jemima Kerr. I think you guys might be thinking about yourselves too much. You are definitely thinking about yourself too much and putting way too much emphasis on your youth. Listen, there is a certain type of person who is in their late 30s and they still wear their Letterman jacket from when they were the quarterback in their high school. That is a very cringe person who is still holding on to their youth. But would you go with me here and say that the man making this TikTok is just as bad? Like your youth is not all that there is. I swear to God it's not. I mean, I wouldn't know because I'm still so vibrant and full of youth. Unlike PewDiePie, millennial. But as sure as the sun will set, unless you're in Alaska, your time in youth will pass. We'll tell Kim Kardashian eventually. <laughs> Homer Simpson. And you have to be at a place in your life where you don't then go on TikTok at 38 years old and say, not trying to be me. Baby, baby girl. <laughs> baby girl. Oh, Jesus. Like you're pretty, you're beautiful. I'm not trying to like. And here's my opinion. If you're Gen Z, I think that this is perfect fodder to make jokes about, about Gen Z looking older than millennials did. Like Jordan V. Stallion right here. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. Cause it's funny and like he's joking and he's just being self-aware because he himself feels like he looks older. And he does, 
bro could definitely be on that Cheers poster and he would fit in. <laughs> but the thing is, he's making that joke about himself, that's fine. That doesn't mean that you should take it to heart and make a video about it because you're 38 years old and your skin is clear. You shouldn't do that. Let the kids have their fun. Like this video that Connor Hesse made, he is so right. And this is funny. This is funny when Gen Z people do it. And it's not an actual serious discussion about generation warfare when you are a millennial who's 38 years, I'm sorry. Millennials, you zoom in really weird. Like what the fuck? <laughs> well, you're fucking ugly. Your skin is atrocious. You're dealing with a bunch of fucking acne. No one loves you. Connor, so true. So when you see funny Gen Z videos about the topic and then you see an actual millennial make a video like this, and again, Rhea, you've done nothing wrong. Absolutely no hate. I'm not criticizing you at all. I'm just using your video as an example of how millennials talk about this. You were doing nothing wrong by this. I swear to God, but this is a very good example. Us millennials are stressed as heck and we have lived through more unprecedented times than Gen Z. But most of us are looking younger than Gen Zers. It's like talking about it like it's a real thing that is really embarrassing and I feel like only millennials are actually doing. I think when Gen Z is talking about it, it's just self-aware funny jokes because they themselves feel like they look older than they look. They look older than they are. But then when millennials talk about it, it's like a real thing to them. And it just feels like when your grandma would tell you, I used to have scotch at the old Skittle Bob at the Colgate Hour with Simon Jenkins. Let's take your dementia medicine. They don't have medicine for dementia though, which is sad. Point being, these millennial videos have the vibe of your dementia riddled grandmother. Not again, wait, this sounds like I'm saying it about Rhea. Not you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I guess kind of, but no, wait. It's just the vibe of talking about it like millennials are this, Gen Z are this. Anybody else relate? It does feel like your dementia riddled grandma. I'm sorry, because nobody's a monolith. We're not a monolith. Because as a Gen Zer, I can say as a reference to the Key and Peele skit, black Republicans, which is sounding like a probably poor choice for me to reference, but the point is, as Gen Zers, we are not a monolith? We're not a monolith! Listen, I'm on your side. That's a questionable, I don't, what am I saying? Homer Simpson. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, we're not a monolith. The millennials aren't monoliths. Black Republican voter base, not a monolith. <laughs> Keegan Michael Key's words, not mine. Monolith! So talking about it in those contexts, when millennials do that, it's just like, oh my God, you gotta move past your high school years. Just cause we're doing our youth wrong, according to you, it's just just like, listen, you are your mother when you say that. And it's embarrassing, but it's just as embarrassing when it comes from a Gen Z perspective, when you're talking about it as if it's a real thing. It is embarrassing. There's just a lot less Gen Zers doing it because they're doing things like, I don't know, enjoying their youth. God, I hate to say that, I'm sorry. I thought I was gonna be way more unbiased in this video, but listen, that video, golly. I guess the moral of the story is when the younger generation hits high school and everything starts to be focused and dedicated towards them in pop culture and, you know, made by them in pop culture, if you're the generation who's getting phased out right then, all I'm gonna say is whatever social media platform is big right then, don't make videos on it attacking the younger generation. If you're watching this video, can we make a pinky promise to not do that right now? Cause it's embarrassing. Like, just don't be real about it. Like we can joke about the younger generation, but don't be real like these people. And millennials, I've already got you in this pinky promise whether you want it or not. Now, if you yourself ever make a video like that or thank a kind stranger for the gold on Reddit, you are going to have broken a pinky promise and you will be sent to hell. I'm sorry. And again, real quick, thank you so much to Sinbird for sponsoring this video. Again, use coupon code COOPER for 55% off your first month of Sinbird. Please subscribe. <laughs> it's every day, bro. With that Disney Channel flow Five mil on YouTube in six months Never done before I passed all my competition, man PewDiePie is next And I'm popping all these checks Got that brand new Rolex